Welcome everybody to Adjusting the Temp. All about the heat, breaking it down, and getting down to the real temp. I'm your host, Mitchell Bernstein, here alongside Will and Nicholas here today as we're going to be talking about the Heat as they made their late playoff blunder. Now let's start off with the most obvious standout, and that is Tyler Hero this season, who was able to become a six-man candidate as one of the top in the league. Now, Will, do you really think that Tyler Hero is going to be able to get his extension? Uh, 100%. I think Tyler Hero is going to get an extension. If you look, coming off the bench, he averaged almost 21 points per game. Like I said, coming off the bench, and I think there's going to be some off-season moves that come for the Heat this off-season uh, that will give them some extra money in the salary cap to help extend Tyler Hero's contract. And Nicholas, do you agree? Um, I agree the slightest bit because I believe he will get his extension, but for another team. I believe that the Heat need to need another superstar alongside Jimmy Butler and Bam. I feel that Tyler Hero, yet he is young and coming off the bench, but I don't think he can make that jump to the starting role because he lacks the defensive upside that a starter needs in late game scenarios. So I believe that a package of Duncan Robinson, who was very underwhelming this season as we paid him a massive deal, Tyler Hero, who's up for a 200 mil plus extension that I don't think the Heat can trade or the Heat can obtain, and uh, a regressing Kyle, Kyle Lowry and our 21st pick for Donovan Mitchell, who's very unhappy with his situation as their head coach just resigned. Nicholas, that actually leads into the next topic on our show, which is Kyle Lowry, who was brought in to be a leader and help for Jimmy Butler on the offensive end and to be a guy that can help young players like Tyler Hero. This season, he was able to put up 13, 4, and 7, really struggled compared to prior numbers in Toronto. Now, do you think that this downfall and this start of a decline from Kyle Lowry is going to cause his time in the South Beach to just be a short stint? Um, I agree, because this... We, we saw this happening in the playoffs where the slightest hamstring injury, because I was witnessing it, led him to leave 67 games off the table, which caused us to lose some of the games that we should have won. And to not have the mentor and the leader of our point guard really just shifted the tempo of our team, because when he's playing, the tempo rolls way faster than when he's not. So if he's regressing, we'll see in the near future. That's why I believe he should be traded. We will see in the new future now the near future. Now looking at the present, we have a caller coming in from New Jersey. Looks like it's Josh here now. What are your thoughts on what's going on? Yeah, so I'm in New Jersey, but I am a huge Heat fan, and I have to say, Tyler Hero needs to be in the starting lineup. Coming off the bench is not gonna help him progress his skills. I mean, he's the sixth man of the year, but he's not gonna get any better if he keeps coming off the bench. I don't know what Spolsha is doing in the playoffs. Have your best five players on the court to start the game. Tyler Hero is way better than Max Drews. He is way better than Kyle Lowry, who can't shoot. Tyler Hero, the third best player on the team by far, needs to be in the starting lineup. Uh, thank you. I 100% agree with that. If you, uh, you, you, have, you always have to have the five best players on the court starting, and Tyler Hero is one of the top three, maybe top four players on the Heat right now. 20, 21 points per game off the bench. That, that should be enough to tell you. And Kyle Lowry being a starting point guard, averaging 13, 4, and 7 on a $26 million contract. You need to get rid of him. 100% great points from Will and Nicholas. Thank you so much, Josh, for calling in from all the way from New Jersey. Now moving on to our next and last segment here today in our show, we're looking at the Heat's future. There's a lot of bright things ahead, veterans, young players, all on this roster. Now, Nicholas, let's start with you. What do you think's up next for the Heat? Um, as I said before, I feel like this core we have just does, just lacks the firepower it takes to beat the Bucks, beat the Celtics, beat the Nets, who are upcoming yet again with Kevin Durant and Kyrie being fully healthy this season. And the West, alongside the Golden State Warriors, the Nuggets going back with Jamal Murray getting healthy and Luka progressing as he is. So I just feel like we're lacking another superstar alongside Jimmy because as we saw in the playoffs, Jimmy can't do it himself. So I feel like we need another ball handler that's primary and can get a bucket whenever he wants. Definitely a great point. Now, speaking of firepower and not having it, here's someone who has it. It's my good friend Isaac Edelman coming in from Florida. Now, Isaac, what do you got to say? 
Well, I want to express uh, express my frustration at Heat fans and NBA fans in general. They do not seem to like Kyle Lowry and how he played this season. But in fact, I actually liked how he played. He is a player that you can't look at the box score or stats for. You have to watch the film. He is the definition of a point guard. He brings the ball up. Unlike Trey Young, unlike Chris Paul, he runs with the ball down the court. He sparks Miami's fast-paced offense. A fast-paced offense tires defenders, and it really puts the Heat at an advantage. Also, the way Lowry dishes out assists is insane. Yes, I will admit, Lowry is up in age, so you can't expect him to make the amount of shots as he did when he was vintage Lowry in Toronto. So now, his value is pretty incredible. I think he's 36 years old. You guys may have to fact check that. But for that age, what Kyle Lowry's doing, it, it's incredible. I know some NBA fans just look at the stats, but if you watch the highlights, if you watch the film, Kyle Lowry's fast-paced offense and movement is insane. His ball handling skills, amazing. He just needs to improve shooting. And if he can do that, he is back at his all-star level. Great analysis there, Isaac. Thank you so much. We're going to let you go, and we're going to have Will respond to this. Will, what do you have to say to Isaac's comment? Um, yes, Kyle Lowry does dish the ball out well, but so many point guards can do that in the NBA. And if you look at it, he's 36. Does he have another good year in him? Uh, I just don't think so. I 13 points per game as a point guard. You need to step that up. I think to be a starter in the NBA, you need to get at least 18 to 19 points per game to just be a bare minimum starter as a point guard in the NBA. And if you look at players like Tyler Hero, he could get those assists up. He's, he, uh, I think he could step up uh, in the next coming seasons as a, as a uh, starter and potentially uh, an all-star. Another great point from both of our all-star panels and our all-star callers and fans. Now, if the all-star callers and fans want to come on in and join the show and call in, please remember to call the number when we go to our next show at 198-218-358. That's 198-218-358 if you want to join the conversation. Thank you so much to all the fans and all the guests here today. Once again, I'm your host of Adjusting the Temp, Mitchell Bernstein, here today alongside Nicholas and Will. Hopefully, we gave you the adjusting of the temp.